Hi people, I'm back. This is uh, chapter 27, part 2. I think I inadvertently said chapter 7 in part 1. It must have been early in the morning. But um, anyway, here we are, chapter 27, part 2. So let's, um, let's continue on. Let's look at a, um, a simple single loop circuit. We have resistor R, and we have a battery which has an EMF of script E. <clears throat> and so we're going to assume in this discussion that the battery is ideal. And when we say that, it means that there's no internal resistance. And we'll get to explain exactly what that is in a bit. <coughs> and wires are also going to be considered ideal, which means that the wires have zero resistance. Zero resistance. Zero ohms. Okay, so um, let's um, let's do something that's not necessarily in the book, but um, but um, something that I typically do at this stage. Let's let's follow a charge. So here's a charge. Let's follow a charge around this loop. So. Um, we know, right, this is now typically going to be zero volts, zero volts, and this side will be, will be at um, E volts, okay, and so it's going to um, take some work now. It's going to take some work to move this charge from here to here. All right, and the amount of work that needs to be done is going to be then Q times E. Now think about where this might come from. Remember that that electrical energy is Q times V. For these devices here, instead of calling it V, we're calling it E, and you'll see why we're calling it E as this discussion progresses. And so the energy change for a charge, moving it, moving it from the low potential side to the high potential side, is going to involve doing some work on that charged particle. It's going to change its energy, right? It's going to do work on it. And so um, that energy change is going to be the work that's done. And so then that's going to come down to uh, work is equal to, is equal to um, the charge times the voltage, in this case, the EMF. Okay? So now let's, um, let's see what happens as we follow this charge around this loop. So this charge is now here, and this charge wants to go spontaneously from the high electrical potential side to the low electrical potential side. But the stuff inside this battery, which pumps charges from low to high, is going to not allow it to not allow it to go directly down to the zero volt side but it's going to allow it to move through to move through the circuit by constituting a current so we're going to have a current in this circuit uh, created by this EMF and so let's trace now this this charge so it's going to um, 
it's going to go around this circuit and it's going to move through this ideal wire which means it has no which has no uh, resistance which means that the energy the energy that this that this um, charged particle will have right over here it hasn't lost any energy so this is the this now is the high potential side of the resistor this is the low potential side of the resistor and so now we know that through the resistor that the change in the energy is going to be equal to Q delta V the Q delta V which is then going to be then Q this is going to be V low minus V high All right so this is going to be V high this side will be V low and so then that change in energy is going to be Q times the um, I already wrote that so let's um, let's uh, let me just erase this this then is going to be this then will be the voltage across the resistor and we'll write it here as Q as as V subscript R okay so the change in energy is going to be the voltage drop right where this is the voltage the voltage drop across the resistor okay so the charge now this is going to be Q times V high when it gets over to this side it's going to be Q times V low okay and so then that's going to be the energy the energy loss of a charged object moving through this resistor now why is it losing energy well it's because in the resistor it is suffering all of these collisions and each of those collisions is going to um, wind up giving up some energy in terms of thermal energy which that then will be lost to the surroundings okay so so thermal energy thermal energy will be uh, will be lost to the surroundings okay so um, so now let's um, let's write this down. So when the charge comes, when the sorry, when the charge comes out the resistor at the other end, right? It's now at low potential. Actually, it's now at zero, and so the positive the positive charge is going to magically it's going to magically find its way back to the low potential side of the seat of, of EMF and then it will be pumped back up to the high potential side and that process will continue to uh, to to occur until the battery is battery is out of juice so if we write this down right so we write this down using energy considerations using energy considerations Okay, so as the charge moves from zero energy to the high energy side of the seat of EMF, it actually has an energy now of Q times script E. And then it lost an energy associated with the voltage drop across the resistor, which then is going to be Q times V sub R. And then the charge winds up on the other side of the resistor to start this process all over again. So the energy lost, right? So this is going to be the energy, the energy gained, 
energy gained by a gained by a a charged a charged um, a charged entity and this is going to be the energy energy lost and I don't know how all this stuff got there and it seems like I cannot erase it so um, again just um, somehow this got left this got left from from the previous lecture okay don't know how that happened from the previous lecture and so um, along with this so let's um, skip down skip down to um, to here and so um, and so now um, we could easily get rid of get rid of Q we can divide by Q across that equation and we get E minus VR is equal to zero we can now use Ohm's law oh my oh my there it is it disappeared okay so um, okay don't know how that happened but uh, but here we are okay so we can now use Ohm's law which says that the voltage across the resistor is equal to the current going through it times the resistance okay so language is important right so this is the voltage voltage across the resistor this is the current through the resistor and this is the resistance of the resistor okay now prepositions are important here right so voltages appear across and currents currents go through devices okay currents go through devices voltages appear across so then we have then that the electromotive force minus I times R is equal to zero one can now calculate the current in that circuit which now is just going to be E over E over R okay so uh, what we've done is um, we've gone right so to recapitulate here right we've we've gone around a single loop a single loop of circuitry and we've used we've used energy considerations we have used energy considerations to arrive at what is commonly commonly called Kirchhoff's Kirchhoff's loop law or I prefer Kirchhoff's voltage voltage law and what Kirchhoff's loop or voltage law says formally is that around around any around any complete loop of circuitry the sum of voltage 
sum of voltage gains and voltage drops, which are losses, voltage losses, must be zero. Okay? And that's a double asterisk statement. So let's um, let's end this one here, and then I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up from uh, from here, um, talking about the internal resistance using what we've just learned. Okay, awesome. See you soon.